In this video, we're going to look at how to compute a Spearman row correlation coefficient. Now, sometimes this is called Spearman's rank, or it's written as RS. Now, the reason I'm going to use Spearman's row is because I want to correlate total competency of an employee before starting the job with their age group. And because age group is ordinal and categorical, I cannot use Pearson's R. So to do this, I'm going to go to Analyze, and then Correlate, and I'm going to choose Bivariate because I have two variables. I'm going to reset this. I want to correlate total competency with age groups, so I'm going to move them over to my Variables box. Now down here at the bottom, I have some options to choose my correlation coefficient, and I don't want Pearson. I want to use Spearman. You also have test of significance, two-tailed or one-tailed. You should choose two-tailed if your alternate hypothesis is two-tailed. And by that, it means you're stating there is a correlation, but you haven't said if it will be positive or negative. If, however, your alternate hypothesis says that there will be a positive relationship or correlation or a negative relationship or correlation, then you want to select one-tailed. I'm going to leave it as two-tailed for now. SPSS also asks if you want to flag significant correlations. And if you tick it, then SPSS will put one asterisk next to results that are significant at the 0.05 level. And it will put two asterisks if it's significant at the 0.01 level. So we can go ahead and click OK. And we can see our output here. Um, both of this box and this box are the same. The same with here. This box and this box are the same. And that's perfectly normal for correlation output. And I'll explain what the figures mean in this output in the next video.